interested in what you were talking about earlier with the with the increased dynamic range and then also that we're actually going to be able to see black. And I'm wondering too with light iron, how are you when you have when you're color grading for these incredible directors and DPs who are using a lot of light shaping and shadows and they're shooting they're shooting movies in, that they intend to be shown in a theater. Mm -hmm. um, but people are consuming them on these uber bright, incredibly like like blasting away all the shadows and and on these these uh, ultra high def TVs where you have no shadow and you have no motion blur anymore and everything is so bright that you're seeing all kinds of things that you're not even supposed to see that you weren't supposed to see. How are you? So for in terms of future proofing, I mean, is I'm interested if if um, for shooting, if how you combat that. I don't know if it's just me, but if how you combat that is that you use more black so that you really hide the things that you don't want people to see that are just were before we're just in shadow. Well, well you, you, you have to create the best master to what your tastes are. You, you can't control all the hundreds of millions of TVs and how poorly they're set up. Yeah. But you can, you know, hopefully what, what, what will happen is that the manufacturers are building it. Like Dolby Vision, mm -hmm. their, their high dynamic range system is one that if you have a Dolby chip, then in theory that it is delivering to that monitor what that monitor should display. And if people don't mess with the settings, then it's as close as you're going to get right now to actually delivering it right to the living room couch the way that you intended. Mm -hmm. um, but um, you should never compromise on the front end. You want to you want to build the highest quality master you can. And right now, I mean, uh, you know, the, the, these cameras are capturing a lot of detail. And you're just managing how much you're letting through. With with HDR, what you're doing is you're you're getting just a higher level of control to do that. And when you get the wide color gamut, you you have more range to be able to mm -hmm. change things if you want to. I but, think one of the things is um, the production side is you know now they're talking about monitoring in HDR on set, right. so they'll be able to actually see HDR on set what they're shooting. And you know maybe compensate like you're saying you know gear more towards what they're seeing on an HDR monitor. Problem is they're very expensive, they're cumbersome. So it's got to be the right production. You can't you know shoot a Marco Polo shooting around the world, you know lugging mm -hmm. HDR monitors with you. Um, but I think for a lot of shows they're going to start talking about but, doing that more often. But remember, if you're shooting in RAW, you're you're bringing back home a lot of information on those files. Absolutely, they, you really are. It's just interesting in terms of finishing because, like, so the other day I was in a Best Buy and I caught part of Iron Man and I saw things that you were we were not supposed to see. That we were not meant You're to see when Buy. when Iron Man was <laughs> was finished, you know. And I'm wondering, so in terms of for future proofing and when you guys are color grading projects, like how how are you? We actually used to have a room um, at our facility in Light Iron that we jokingly called the Best Buy room, um, and it was full of all of these uh, different uh, different televisions, different manufacturers, uh, different you know sizes, makes, models, uh, and we would pass through content uh, for our filmmakers it, when they're in DI so you can kind of see this worst world situation and some people would cry some people would laugh some people would run out screaming um, but it was it, it, to Peter's point the the best thing that you can do is don't make a compromise for what various consumer displays are going to see once it's out in the world you can't yeah. control it right yeah and, and you're 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 coaching in terms of future proofing that's not a future proofing issue that's an issue of of how it gets displayed. I mean, you know, you, you want to go go get a VHS of Star Wars. You'll see every mat line in that movie. You know, <laughs> it's if, and with digital files, I think that that kind of thing will happen less and less and less. But the fact that somebody's going to go out there and crank up, you know, the, the the brightness of the picture, and then turn up the left channel and turn the right channel off. I mean, we can't help everybody. <laughs> <laughs>